Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today with the season five update, we got a brand new weapons update that of course had some weapon adjustments, some tuning and whatnot. They'll be covering in some upcoming videos later on this week, but we also got some brand new weapons for season five, including the FR Advancer, AKA the FFAR or the FAMAS, which of course we had back in Warzone 1 and we've seen it in other COD installations as well and I've gone through I've max leveled this thing now and I'm going to break down a couple of different setups for you guys to drop into some Warzone gameplay with because this thing is definitely up there in terms of the overall competition it is I think going to be peak for sniper support that mid-range area I feel like is really where this thing is going to absolutely just fry but you can even get away with using it for long range as well similar to how like the Razorback right now for instance is sort of that nice mix and match there you can use it in a bunch of different situations and it's very versatile absolutely is going to fit into that sort of niche there right alongside the Razorback the 74U even the Chimera here and there oh and by the way as far as like actually unlocking this thing goes just a heads up like yes it's free through the battle pass if you get to that sector you can just unlock it for free if you buy black cell you can get it basically instantly because it's right next to the black cell section so you can jump right to that but also there is this store bundle that comes with a blueprint skin that gives you every single attachment right away like this is basically a weapon vault for the fr advancer you buy the bundle and you get it all unlocked so it's up to you if you want to spend your money on that like if you care enough to spend the money and skip all the leveling you can get all the attachments right away you won't be able to tune because it's not max level or anything but it does give you the skin on everything and it gives you all the attachments which is interesting because we haven't seen this all year long ever since the cinder weapon vault thing for like the m4 platform and now it just drops randomly here for the FR Advancer and it's there in the store. So really strange. So this first setup I want to break down is going to be the more sniper support based setup here. Uh, and this is the one that I think most players are probably going to lean towards rather than the long range, because this seems a little bit more versatile. It can definitely replace your SMG and in that mid range is like I said, really where it feels the most optimal. As we go through and break down these attachments here, just showing this off in the firing range briefly, you can see iron sights, super, super clean in my opinion. And you can easily pick off that mid range range there even some of the long range while obviously these bots and these uh these what do you call them dummies are not set for the wars on health because that's not accurate anyways simply for the fact of staying on target it's pretty simple it's pretty straightforward here and we can even shoot into the wall here to see the general recoil pattern and this will be largely the same between each setup here the sniper support and then obviously the long range as well now i got obviously tracers on this which make it a lot brighter but it's a pretty simple up and to the left sort of pattern here that's relatively straightforward to follow you obviously don't have to have the tracers on if you don't want but i got the blueprint here from the battle pass anyways for sniper support initially i'm going for the sa ion rear grip this is going to be just straight up for better recoil control makes the gun a little bit easier to use we're tuning for even better stability and steadiness there the 60 round mag or the 45 you could go either or here 45 will be a tad bit faster but 60 obviously if you're playing you know trios or quads you're in that squad fight is going to be the much more clutch and necessary option there so i'd probably recommend 60 but you could use either or i then go for the ripper under barrel pretty standard for stabilization and control here just works nicely tuning for even better stability and stabilization as well i do go for a heavier suppressor here just for even more added control to make things a bit easier you could go for a lighter option like with echoless 80 if you wanted to which is not going to offer as much control but it will be a little bit snappier so kind of personal preference there and what you want the weapon to feel like but of course we're tuning for velo and ads speed here then lastly i go for the fr 435 barrel this is going to help out with velocity and control it is going to hurt your damage range a tad bit but i personally didn't notice a huge drop off when i was testing and plunder and whatnot uh that said if you wanted to you could upgrade to the long bore it's going to be a lot slower though for a sniper support like build and if you're in like the close range with this as your sniper support primary you might get in trouble because of using the heavier barrel here so for me 435 worked well and as you guys saw in the firing range there i mean it's about as straightforward as it gets it's very simple very easy to use got super clean iron so in the close range in the mid range you're gonna be able to see perfectly fine really really like how this build in particular feels but then like i said you could also build this out for a bit more of a long range play style as well if you wanted to as we're getting into this part of the setup here if you guys are new here quick reminder every single day i got you covered with meta breakdowns news updates patch notes you name it it's going to be right here so feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications if you want to stay up to date and if you enjoy this video if you find it helpful at all let me know by dropping a like on it as well would be seriously appreciated but as far as the long range setup goes we're really just tweaking a few things off of the sniper support we're still going to be running the 60 round mag 
you're obviously going to need that especially for the long range where you're going to have to factor in some more missed shots here uh ripper under barrel i'm still sticking with that said if you really wanted to you could definitely upgrade to something like lock grip precision for just straight up added control in there that would be a decent option as well once more sort of comes down to what you value straight up control or the stability and the sway and whatnot for me it's stability and sway so again we're going for ripper harbinger suppressor we definitely want here as opposed to echoless because we want that added control that harbinger is going to offer and that ads speed slowdown is not going to be nearly as drastic and noticeable when you're fighting super long range fights like this uh with this build right so i uh, definitely want to have that on there then i go for the long bore barrel in this case obviously this is the longer option here for the added damage range of velocity no control out of this but it's not hurting your damage range like the other barrel would and of course we're tuning for even better range than better steadiness on here as well so we do get a little bit of control out of the tuning there and then just because with long range iron sights aren't always going to be the most ideal i do go ahead and throw on the amop v4 here pretty standard for this die position the faster ads on the tunage there i uh, just going to be nice and clear for long range if there's an optic that you prefer more though always be sure to switch to that go for comfortability here man even if you want to use the iron sights if you're super comfortable with them you could drop those and put on a rear grip again for the better control you could use a comb or a stock even if you wanted to high velo would be another good choice totally it comes down to how you want the weapon to feel but if we go into the firing range with this one again don't mind the bot health because that's not accurate anyways but low recoil super easy to stay on target with and obviously over range because of that it's going to be consistent and it's going to have that fast ttk at the same time it's got that fast fire rate again the recoil pattern going to be relatively the same as the other one just going up and to the left basically continuously so despite the fact that obviously with the tracers it blows it way out of proportion with the effects it's just up and to the left up and to the left up and to the left so very straightforward very easy to memorize that and just shoot straight over time by holding down to the right throughout and you're gonna be able to land shots consistently so i'm a fan of the uh the fr advancer here i'm gonna call it the ffar because it's way easier to say and truly that's what this thing is right like straight up it looks exactly like it performs very similar to it as well at that faster strafe speed and the sniper support and versatility elements that it brings to the table i'm a fan it's a ton of fun to use definitely jump in and uh you know unlock this thing level it up get those tunings unlocked so you can absolutely fry but that being said that is effectively going to wrap things up for this one if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. it would be seriously appreciated. And if you're new here, you want to guarantee you are always up to date with absolutely everything going on in the world of Call of Duty. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And as always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a discount on all Gamer Advantage, G Fuel, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy. Have an awesome rest of your day. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.